assertions. So now I will discuss how to exclude any API request and respective test validation from the execution. So while executing the collection or the while executing the folders, you can exclude the any API request execution from API request execution from your test validations. So I will show you a, I will show you an example with the ex, by executing the one of the folder API request. So you can select this folder and you can click on three dots and you can click on run folder option. On the left side, you will find the, all the requests which are there inside this particular positive endpoints folder. So this is a particular order. So all the APIs will get executed one by one. So you can uncheck this particular checkboxes if you don't want to execute this particular APIs. So in my case, I will exclude all the APIs apart from the get booking API. Sorry, that's a, apart from the get booking IDs API. So only one API will get executed. So simply I will click on run booking API. So if you look at this one in the past tab, only one API got executed and that is what passed. We are validating the status code of the API response. And also you can check out the total duration, how long it took for the execution. So it took two seconds, 321 milliseconds. And if you look at this all tests, so we have only one test script. So this is how you can exclude the any API from the test execution.